Hey Quilty friends, Yvonne here. As you requested, you wanted to know how to get the perfect quarter inch seam. Well, in this series called Quilters Boot Camp, I'm gonna show you how to create the most perfect little quarter inch seams so that those points always match and your blocks end up being the correct size. So stick with me and I'm gonna show you in this short video how to get the perfect quarter inch seam. All right, let's get sewing. First, I grabbed my two and a half inch square and I found the quarter inch seam line. And as soon as I had that, I laid it right where my needle is. So I put it under my presser foot and I dropped my needle just a hair to the right of that quarter inch line. And so I'm checking it to make sure that it's nice and straight. There's some registration lines. And I'm gonna place a stack of post-it notes. So this is the easiest way to create a seam guide that doesn't damage the bed of your machine is to just lay a stack of post-it notes to the right of that ruler that I had placed on what I call the scant quarter inch seam. I put my presser foot down and I checked to make sure that it was aligned, that I had a perfect 90 degree angle. Next, I grabbed a stack of two and a half inch squares and I started sewing to test my seam allowance. I take my time. I just feed them through, lining up the pieces with the edge of that stack of post-it notes. And I will do that two or three times with these little testers. I call them leaders and enders. And once I've stitched the entire little stack, I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is pressing and testing my seams. I grab my little test squares and my ruler, which is four and a half inches wide. And I pressed all of my little blocks. I always press the seams to one side, which is why I sew with a scant quarter inch. It makes my seams stronger, so I always give them a good press. I open them up and I flip the seam to the dark side. Now sometimes you have to press the seams open, but more often than not, it's better to press the seams to one side to make them stronger. And so I always test mine with the seam pressed to the side. So give them a little finger press. Use a hot dry iron, no steam. Set that iron on those seams. Press them nice and flat and straight. And now you're ready to check. Lay those out as straight as possible. Just check that seam to make sure it's not creased. You lay your four and a half inch ruler on top and it should be perfectly aligned with the edges of your ruler. Check a couple of different blocks and if those line up with those edges, then your quarter inch seam is spot on and you're ready. Hey friends, why don't you leave a comment down below and tell me what would you like to learn next? I'm always trying to come up with new ideas and ways to teach on this channel. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a thing from the Jelly Roll Club. Thank you.